Good day, everybody. We've got a few countries logged in. I am really excited because we're going to have something from Iraq. And um, I have never thought or heard of a dalma made with onions. Um, can you explain to us why you picked this recipe and why you want to share this recipe with us? Hey, guys. My name is Demir, and I'm from Iraq, eventually. Uh, for me, dolma, like in Iraq, dolma is considered like a very, very uh, important uh, dish because it's one of the main top five dishes in Iraq. And Iraqi people across the Middle East, they are known for the best dolma that they make, the Iraqi dolma, because uh, with the Iraqi dolma, you usually do like stuffed vegetables, but you don't only do once stuffed vegetables, you will do like uh, onion, gr grape leaves, uh, tomato, uh, so many, wh whatever you think that you can stuff, rice in it, you can just use it. So that's why what I did today is just to use the onion. The onion, I used it because it's, it, it's very easy to make because you just have to like open it and peel it and just like take the layers. Uh, but with the grape leaves, you have to steam them a little bit. Uh, so with, with other kind of vegetable, you need extra more time for that. So this is the easiest way to use it. But for you guys, like if you want to do it again, you can just take whatever vegetable you, you have, just to take the, the things that are, are inside and just stuff it with rice. And that right now I have adult. lots and lots of yellow summer squash and zucchini. So maybe. Yes, zucchini, you can, you, you can just... Uh, use the zucchini for, for, for me personally I love, I love zucchini mm -hmm. so for dolma the the secret about the dolma is the the pomegranate molasses and the combination of the vegetables because when you combine three five types of vegetables uh you will when, when you eat it you will feel a mix of flavors of all the vegetables in every kind of like peace because I mean if you have the onion and you 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 make a dolma an onion dolma but you mix it with like vegetables around it when you eat the onion you will taste the grape leaves as well you will taste the zucchini as well so uh, like I, I recommend to do uh, different vegetables in one dish that's gonna be much better. But for okay. now, like we're trying to make it easy. So we're going to just use the onion just to show you the, the rice, how we put the ingredients, how we, how we put the skillet, how we flip it. And yeah. So basically, you want to just start... go over the list of ingredients while I get it to cut and paste into the chat? Yes. So the rest, list of ingredients is first, you have diced uh, garlic. And here you have the seven spices and the black pepper with salt. I just mixed them, mixed them together. So is the seven spices, um, haberet, or Sorry? how you pronounce it? Seven spices. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking it was pronounced haberet. Am I? No, no, it seven wrong? spices. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. They call it uh, Baharat. Baharat, okay. That's how Yeah, you... even they, they take it from India. Even in India, they call it Baharat. Oh, okay. Like, it's not the seven. Baharat is like the spices. When you say spices, it's like Baharat. Oh, Baharat just are... means spices. Spices, not the seven oh, okay. spices. Yeah. Yeah, so you have the diced onion. You have the diced coriander. I use coriander. Some people they use parsley. Some people they use cilantro. It depends. And this is one pound of rice. Usually, 
the best type of rice to use for doma is the the Chinese rice, the sushi rice, whatever you you can find. But you can always avoid basmati because basmati have long long uh, seeds. But for me, actually, I'm using basmati right now because I only have basmati for for now. But for best result, use other types, smaller smaller rices. And here the the lamb, you can use like it's it's the best to use the lamb chops, and also you can use like pork chops or any any kind of meat that can be cooked easily. Like maybe even you can use the the beef ribs as well. And we have the ground beef, and you can also do ground lamb, ground pork. It's still okay. And we have the onion, tomato paste, uh, pomegranate, molasses, and we can we can just add like any kind of oil, but it's better to have like the the olive oil. The most important thing you said was the pomegranate molasses, yeah. Yes, pomegranate molasses because doma must be must be sour. It has to be sour and sweet. So. With the sweetness, some people they put sugar. I don't prefer putting sugar, but but uh, because we're using onion, so we're gonna depend on the sweetness on of the onion itself. Yeah. Have you ever mixed the seven spice yourself, or you always just bought it? Well, I've never mixed the seven spices. Actually, I always buy it. Some people they don't use seven spices. Some some people they just pick whatever is the spices they want, they grind it and they put it, I mean, the way they want, the way they they find that dogma will be delicious. So it's not something that you have to put, but like for a generic type of typical type of dogma, you put seven spices. Otherwise you can just put whatever you want. All right, can you teach us the trick on how to do the onion? I. I thought yeah, I needed so to get very big onions because I thought it'd be really hard to stuff a small onion. Oh no, it's not hard because when you when you open it like this, you just put like a spoon and you have to put like 30% of the space. Right rise and 30% okay. of the space. Why? So when because I, when I have an onion, normally I cut off both ends. Yeah, you you yeah. So I you still cut do off that, both peel ends. the skin off. Peel the skin off and then you make uh, let me show you. So basically you peel the skin off and then you will break it until the middle, until here. So you can take all the layers. The trick is just, just to extract the layers without breaking them. And then once you extract it, when you once you peel it, you, you make like this. You, one out. you have to, yeah, you have to do gently because sometimes Sometimes it breaks. Some so people, do you, they... Do you cut all the way down to the center? Yeah, yeah, all the way down to the center, yeah. But, all right. Just like this, right. you see. I guess I have to be very careful to... Yeah, some people, they, they steam the... The onion before they use it, so it becomes easier to peel. But I, for me, I don't think it's necessary. So you do this. You take one. You do this. Even if it breaks a little bit, it's, it's still okay because you're gonna like put rice and then you just gonna close it. Try your best to like close it like this. Make it like this after you put the rice. Yeah, that's cool. So every layer makes another little pocket. So what I yes, did is I cut exactly. both ends ends off, and then I put a little V slit in there, and now it seems to come apart pretty easy. See? Yeah, I see. Yeah. All right. I've never did this before, so I'm be trying to be. I'm used to just like chopping things up really quick and not being delicate. So I'm having to exactly. be slightly delicate. Yeah. Here. yeah. One and some people what they do they end up with this so you can just chop it and just put it with the mix mixture you know I already chopped this one but some people they use this one 
So you just or, keep or the, if you want, if you want, just put it at the end. Just put the onion. It's nice to eat like the cooked onion, like this. Just like. So don't worry about the very center part because you can just use that part chopped up, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because it gets harder and harder the more I get to the center. Exactly. Yeah. And I think it would help is if you, what did you say? Steam it a little bit, make it warm a little bit. Yeah, if you cook it a little bit, steam it, or even like cook it and put it just in the water, just just until the water heats up like three minutes, maybe you can, it's gonna be easy. easy. But even if it's guts, it's okay because you're just gonna. So let's see with that them. onion, I got one, two, three, four. I got five layers. Yeah. Just, this one I broke a little bit, but. It looks like it'll still go. Through. Okay, you can just mine, go. mine keep breaking. Your yeah, did you use the big ones? Probably. Uh, yeah, kind of. I do have some small ones. I'll, I'll use I think those. it's also how thick the layer is. These are pretty thick, so they break easier. Yeah, yeah it depends. Yeah, yeah. If they were thinner, um, better. If you yeah, if you pee, if you uh peel the onion and just keep it for like maybe half an hour you don't have to steam it it's going to be easier flex flexible all right this is any and you, what you can do you can just like do this keep moving it like a little bit slowly gently until it becomes more loosened up you know so you can after that open it All right, this, so I have a question. What quantity yeah. of, uh, if any, do you have of the straight up chopped onion for not stuffing? How much chopped onion? Yes, if, if that's one of the, I thought that was one of the ingredients. Yeah, you can just chop it. Like, I mean, you can just chop one onion, half onion. It's not like something exact. You know, or the you onion is just save like the awesome. center of the onions and chop them. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can save these ones and chop them and and just put them. You know what they normally do with the with the mixed vegetable dolma? They when they take the the inside of the vegetable, yeah. they also chop everything. They chop the zucchini, chop the eggplant, the tomato. They just chop everything and mix it with them with the with the stuffment with the stuffing. So they just use whatever they 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 took. So how are you guys doing now? I'm having a hard time onion. with my second onion, actually. <laughs> yeah. onions you know what them. to do? Yeah, try try to to move it a little bit. All right. Yeah, the moving it helps. Yeah. So massage the onion first. <laughs> massage it. <laughs> Let's see. Play, play I, I found it really onion. helped to chop the ends off really good. Then the onion can slide out the side. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you still can do that. And you can just chop everything and then you just put it back again. But I, you know what I'm trying to do? When you when you cook the onion, when you want to eat it, you just want to see the whole onion like that. Like you don't want to oh. see the two, two pieces. But still, like it's not a bad idea to do it if you cannot do it right now. All right. Right. Yeah, you guys doing good. I think. Oh. <laughs> I think this is something you get better at with practice. Yeah. And then also pick onions that are don't have such th thick layers. Yeah, I got this one's really being difficult. I mean, I you also see his the shape of his onions are more oblong instead of the, mine are almost square. They're so yes, big. exactly. Yeah. These are the best. I got ones. too big of onions. And if you 
if you get these long ones, you know, these long onions is much better mm -hmm. for the because they have a thinner layer. I have really and... thick layers, yeah. So, but even if it's rounded like this, if you keep making it rounded like this, and then when you right, when you put the stuff in, smaller onions. Let me try a smaller onion. You can make it. All right. Always or organic onions are small. <laughs> yeah, I think this particular onion is like each layer is like a, a quarter inch thick. It's super like hefty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why some people, they, they just cook it for three minutes. So I, I went and grabbed the smaller onion and it is much easier to do because the layers are much thinner. Yeah. Yeah, the one that you're using, you know, try not to do it in this way. Try to, when you open it, try to just open a little bit and open the next one from like this. Don't just do it like this. This will break. Yeah. So yeah, to try to slide it out the side. There yeah. You know, split exactly. out the center See? one. Yeah, this is better. All right. Fun. I love learning new techniques. Yes. So. All right. I, I love wrestling with my food. Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, I want to stay together. <laughs> you know, it's just. <laughs> But yeah, it definitely helps these smaller onions. I mean, this look okay. So this was the ones I bought thinking I needed big ones. And these are like half the size and it's easier to peel. My yeah, half the size. Yeah, the, the one I said like a medium size. Yeah. So. I put on, yeah. So I had two different color. I had the red onion and a white onion. And the reds are much easier to uh, separate. Because they have thinner, thinner layers, don't they? Thinner yeah, layers, I think, yeah. I think that's what it is. Well, and my red ones are really thick. But oh, yeah, well. I'm finding that if I pull it through, it's it's this one's going a lot better. I, I did, now this on my fourth onion, this is better, <laughs> finally. Well, I was messed with my first one because I was more tender and took took care of it better. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, it just makes you, makes you like a... Meditate when you try not to break them like slowly. Yeah. It's the there meditation. You go. I have I have one good one. <laughs> I found out if I just take the center out first and then you can take yeah. the layer from the center out. It's a little easier. Yeah. But all right. Fun. So do we feel like we've got enough? on figuring out how to do this. This yeah, is one many, of those things we're gonna have to practice. How many do we need? There's how many as you want to make. As, <laughs> as much as you want to make. I don't know. But I think I made too many. Oops. But all right. Mm. Uh, see, yeah, it's like the more I do it, the worse I get, the less patient I am. So this is something I need to learn to be more patient with. Yeah. And the dolma, usually when they eat dolma, they don't eat it alone. Like whenever you see like uh, Middle Eastern people when they eat dolma, is like when the family is gathering and they just make a big ball like this. And then they come and pick every type of vegetable that they want, each type. And they always have to say, oh, it's very good even if they don't like it. <laughs> well, everybody knows how much hard work it is to make, yeah? It is hard work. That's why they don't make it every day. They make it like maybe once a month or something. But when they make it, they it's really, it's a way to gather the family, the people, you know, because they all like will share the same thing and they just pick whatever they think it's delicious. 
and everyone have like his own favorite uh, type of best dolma festival. Some people they say, oh, we love onion. Some people they love grape leaves. But most of the people they love onion, including me. Yeah, I wonder how hard it would be to get onions in the U.S. I mean, not onions, uh, grape leaves. Well, I take that back. I live around oh, orchards. Leaves, I could just go to them, my neighbors uh, and steal some. But all right. But you can go to the Middle Eastern. You can go to Middle Eastern shops, and they have like canned uh, grape leaves. Oh, really? They're, like cooked and ready. You just like take them and then. Just put and just throw them. Okay. Yeah, I saw them in a jar, but I'm wondering if, you know, like if there's a specific species of a grape leaf, you know, because there's so many different types of grapes. Maybe all the leaves aren't the best. Some, yeah, some people they use, like most of the people, they use any grape leaf. And also, there are some other, uh, there's something else that they can they use instead of grape leaves, but I forgot its name in English. Cabbage. I don't know what they call it. No, no, it's not. A, yeah, they also use cabbage as well. Uh, there is also a cabbage dolma. It's done, even the, the people in like uh, in the South, uh, Southwest Asia, they they use it. They use the cabbage, dolma. I've seen so many countries in Europe. They also have this cabbage dolma. I think Greece also have it. All right. Yeah, we had someone on earlier from Greece, but they said that it was ten. It was very late for them, so they were getting ready to go to bed. Yeah, I know. I've seen her. But all right. I am I am cutting the centers of the onions small. And then we have to, let's figure yeah. out what's next. Okay. So this is we already prepared it. So we can just put it here and just let's do the stuffing. So for the stuffing, basically what you do just Whatever you prepare, just put it here and mix it. <laughs> That's the thing. So you have the rice. Some people. Now the rice, you don't pre-soak it or have, do you clean it or yeah, anything? I, I pre-soaked it, but some people, they don't. It's not like something optional, but if you pre-soak it, it's going to cook faster. And that's one pound of rice? It is, yeah. Wow, it looks, mine looks bigger than that. Really? Yeah. I actually uh, use my hand to like, uh, to. And this bag is one, is size. two pounds. So it's, it's about, I don't know, about a cup this much. Yeah. Okay. No big deal. Can you repeat what you're doing? You say you soaked your rice. Yeah, you can but cook it's not for like five minutes, but it 10 fast. minutes, but it's not necessary. You just like to, to cook it fast. Um, I mean, anyway, you're going to put it uh, like 45 minutes cooking. Oh, yeah. Nice and slow cooked. Yeah, it's going to be slow cooked and it's going to be a little bit mushy. So do you, have you ever cooked it in a rice cooker or always in a pan? Uh, it has to be in a skillet like this. Okay. It must be in a, something like this. Got it. Okay. And what do you do? Like when we cook it, I will show you a technique. There, is, there has to be a dish. You can put a dish inside here to keep the onion like together because the rice will puff up. And if you don't put something on here, it's gonna spread, you know? It's not gonna have a good shape. Okay. Okay, so are you guys ready so I can continue? Did you put the rice? Rice and then? Yeah. So we just basically mix everything. We put the onion, the coriander, 
spices. Okay. Let me see. Garlic. Now you will see like most of the stuff are like bigger than the rice, but when the rice cooks, it's gonna take its shape. Okay, I need to add. So I am doing a double recipe. So I need to put oh, yeah. two teaspoons of spice. So I actually bought the seven spice and then I looked it up later and I was like, I have all the spices, but I don't know what mixture. But part of mm. that is, I guess, what flavor you prefer. Because exactly. I looked up seven spice and it says black pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, coriander, cumin, nutmeg, and smoky paprika. Oh, yeah. that smells so good. Now this one I smell, I mostly smell cloves and nutmeg, but. Mm -hmm. There are even like any mixture of spice that you have, you can use. It's not like, it's all, always about your preferences. There are so many recipes of Doma. This is a typical one, but so many recipes. But the things in common are like, so if I wanted to be lazy, I could just put some smoked paprika and I'm done? <laughs> Maybe. You still can do this, but it's not going to be the thing that you expected. <laughs> For me, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm going to put some smokiness. So I'm putting some chipotle. Like, it's an optional thing. If you have some chipotle, it's gonna, you're going to smell like smokiness. And some people, they do it spicy. Some people, they don't. So also like a preference. So I will, I will put for the spiciness, I will put this. Mm -hmm. Tres Diablos. It's Jolokia and Scorpio and Habanero. But I just could put a little bit. Let's see. Half a cup diced coriander or cilantro. Yeah. Or you said... You can do parsley or what else? You can put parsley. You can uh, put like the most most uh, preferable is like the the coriander. So basically, how much meat did you put in the ground beef? Is that you you can put one pound of each one pound rice, one pound ground beef. And you can put less. Some people, they do it vegan. Some people, they do it like uh, without meat. But for me, I prefer meat, of course. Now, do you have a preference of, like I was trying to find lamb at the international grocery. For me, Dolma has to be with the lamb. Yeah. Like, it's I did find really halal good. beef, so I thought maybe that was extra special, but I don't know. <laughs> no. So basically everything but the onion is going in this mixture. Yeah. The, the tomato paste. Yeah, yeah, you just make uh, this stuffing and this is gonna do the, the work. Rice, beef. Pomegranate molasses, salt, black pepper, diced coriander, a small onion diced, some mm -hmm. diced garlic, tomato paste, and then the seven seasonings. Yeah. Oh. I forgot Good to job. take a picture beforehand. Oh, yeah. You're going to take it from the video because you, you're recording. That's true. I'm not, you would think after almost two years of doing this online, I would be more professional. <laughs> I don't know. We just do this. We for forgot, fun. I we guess forgot to put really the molasses. Did you guys put the molasses? I have not yet. And so if you start. could say quantities as you go, because I'm, I'm, Behind. Okay, it is in the chat also. Let's see. Um, half a cup of pomegranate molasses, unless you're doing like a, a double, triple recipe like I am. Yeah. Let me smell this. Oh, the, so that smells different. I, let me give it a taste. I know I've had pomegranate molasses before. So 
right. It's sweet, sweet and sour. Yeah, so that's a lot sa more sour than regular molasses. I like this uh -huh. better. Yeah. I like this better than the molasses you get in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys also must put a little bit of olive oil. For me, I, I already put like it's a big amount of meat. But when you when you cook it, you will see the rice will rot, will be bigger. So now you will. I need to use this whole bottle, but I want to save a little of this. What else can you use pomegranate molasses for? It? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save a little. Uh, make it you great. can use it you, if you if you have like uh, beans. You can fry the beans and put the pomegranate molasses on top while frying. Like you, you leave this molasses for one minute, and it's gonna have like a sour taste. Or you can use it, yeah, you can use it for any, any lemon substitution. All right. Man, this smells amazing with the pomegranate molasses yeah. and that seven spice together. I was just like, I can't wait to eat it now. Now. Yeah, don't eat it now. Do you ever just eat just the rice without putting it in? Stuffing it in something? Sorry, come again? Do you ever eat this flavored rice without stuffing it in something? Uh, no. Okay. No, actually. All right. And you know what's going to happen uh, after that? When you put the meat on the bottom, when you, when you bring the skillet, you will put the meat or chops on the bottom. And then you're gonna put all the stuffiness and then you're gonna fill it with water. And when it's like cooked, when you flip it, all the, the juiciness and the fat of the meat on top will go to the dome as well. It's gonna also give another taste. Oh, I just realized I forgot to put minced garlic in there. Oh. So I have Even a question. Garlic. Yeah. The, the um, seven spice, it says one spoon. Is that a tablespoon or a teaspoon? Uh, I prefer a tablespoon for this portion. Okay, perfect. I sort of figured that, so. <laughs> yeah. Some people, they put like half of the amount of this meat but I prefer like a lot of meat. Right. And you said you, it's going to be boiled, huh? Yeah, of course. You're gonna be be filled with the water as well. And you're gonna cook it for 45 minutes, slow cooking. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Smelling <laughs> with cooking. All right, I'm gonna have to yeah. make a snack while I'm waiting. Yeah, and then once, once it's done, you're gonna be full because of the snack. <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> I don't think it'll stop me. me. Yeah, so we prepared the onion. This one, did you guys, where did you guys reach? I'm putting some chipotle in there. Yeah. Nice. 
I put a tablespoon of chipotle in. Well, one chipotle pepper. Oh, you're putting the, the actual pepper? It's frozen in a double. Oh. So I think it'll be fine. So you're gonna you're gonna um, grind it, right? Um, it's frozen. So, so it turns it, mushy, right? Yeah, it's in a sauce, it's, so I'm chopping it up. If it's frozen, if it's frozen, use this one, it's gonna make it really good. Yeah. Right. It's better with the frozen one, not Yep, it's got the sauce. All right. I'm excited. All right, all right, all right. The smell of this isn't even cooked and it's killing me. Oh my goodness. So it's half a cup of molasses. Oh, the pomegranate molasses. Yeah. Here's mine. Yeah. Yeah, that with that seven spice and the molasses together, it just like the smell is just like sweet and sour and spicy, and my mouth is watering already. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good news. <laughs> All right. I'm ready for the next step, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that this molasses fillet. is amazing. I think the next step is to get a little of that molasses and put it in water for it quick drink <laughs> i think that'd be i'm gonna try that i think it just it's gonna be sweet and a little sour exactly. it'll be lemonade right let me try so i'm i'm putting some olive oil on the skillet here to prevent the meat from from being burned Are you guys with me? Yes. We're going to put the meat that you want. This is also optional. You don't need to do it. Depends. But so this you're, is going to be layering really flavor. Like, like ribs or something underneath. Yeah, you layer ribs or maybe whatever you think. But it has to be something that cooks. Uh, fast. You don't have to bring something like something from the tenderloin of the animal, from anything that you think it cooks fast, except chicken. The chicken cooks too fast. Yeah. Yeah, but you you need like to have pork chops, lamb chops, veal. Yeah, something like this. Or maybe beef chucks as well, some cuts of the beef chucks. But for me, lamb is the best choice. Some people, they hate lamb because of the smell. But it has so much more flavor. Of course, the fattiness of the lamb is different from any kind of fat. It, it's not it's it's a it's better than the uh, the beef fat more healthy than the beef fat but it depends on the type of the beef like if it's grass fed all right so what happened now If you didn't chop these onions, you can just put them on the bottom as well. Now as part of it, you're putting that on the bottom to create a layer for make it cook better or to make a soup on the bottom. No, oh, this one, uh, you, you make sure that the meat cooks better because it's going to be in the bottom. The other, the, the here, it's going to be cooked by the steam of the meat. 
and the, the vegetables. So some people, they, they put all these vegetables that they didn't uh, use, like the, the center of the vegetable, they put it here. You can also put celery. Celery, if you put it here, it's gonna and it's gonna be sour after after that. It's gonna look taste really good. So you, you're kind of making a layer on the bottom to make it so that it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan, also. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's gonna cook the meat better. Uh, before you put the meat, try to put some olive oil or any kind of oil. I'm just chopping a couple onions and putting in the bottom because I don't have the meat. Oh, so you didn't bring the meat. Okay. You can... What else you can put? Let me see. Yeah, you can put tomato slices if you want, lemon slices, zucchini, anything that you can find. You're just trying to make like a veggie broth on the bottom and also keep it from sticking to the bottom, yeah? Yeah, not broth. It's not going to become broth because the 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 uh, the rice will suck all the juices you know it's okay. going to cook by these juices so it's not going to be cooked by the 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 water of course it's going to be cooked by the water but also it's going to be it's going to take all these flavors that you put all right how's everybody doing next step All right. What happened, guys? So, do we do are we ready for the stuffing? Yeah, let's give that a try. Huh? Okay, so easily you just take from this a little bit and you just put it here, but don't put don't fill it because. Because what's going to happen is the rice is going to rise up and it's going to open all the onions. So just keep it half half filled or like maybe even 40%. So if you fill it too much, it'll burst the onion open? It will burst and it will like, it's not going to be a good result. You just put a little bit and when you put it, Try to put this side on the bottom, not on the top. So okay, so the broke part, try to put down. Yeah, it has to be kept like this. All right. Did everybody catch how to do that? Just put the cut side down so it's holding it shut. I think we lost him, huh? Yeah, he froze. All right, let me stop the recording for a second. I just find a way oh. to then put the big one. Go ahead. <laughs> Just like, there you go. So this is this is fun to try to figure out how to stuff these and make them stay closed. With the thick onions, it's not very good. Definitely need to make sure you have thin layered onions. Yeah. So That's okay. I mean, as long as you just... Keep it for a little bit, just not open the whole thing. 
it's going to be okay because once you put the the dish it's going to hold everything oh yeah you put a dish on top to hold it shut yeah yes so can you hold one up closer to the screen so we can show you how you're stuffing one? Great. So you fill yep. it and you make it like this. Yeah, you're like rolling it up. So yeah, with this. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. But yeah, when I, do, if I do it with the small, oops, it's spilling out. When I do it with this thin onion, it comes pretty good. Then I flip it over and set it in. But yeah, with the thicker. Yeah, next time if you want to do it again, if you want to do it again, I will. Uh, yeah. Try to try to steam it a little bit, steam the onion. Mm -hmm. But for me, like I recommend next time for you guys to use all kind of vegetables and one mm -hmm. dish, like pepper. Just uh, stuff it, stuff the pepper, stuff the Ooh, tomatoes, I have a pepper. Let me eggplant. grab a pepper. You can actually, it's going to be easier for you. Yeah. You can just uh, cut the pepper in the middle from, from not from the middle. Yeah, you can cut it from the middle too. And you could take this, uh, his seeds and fill the, the stuff, stuffing uh, instead. I will also take one pepper. You can use only always like uh, red pepper, green pepper, whatever, whatever you see, whatever can be stuffed, you can use. Can you take a picture of how your pot looks once you fill it with all the onions so we can see what it's supposed to look like? <laughs> <laughs> I almost feel like I need to like put a string around it. Like I can get the onion to wrap, but it just pops right open. Mm -hmm. I mean, I flip mine over and it stays pretty... It's staying closed pretty good. Also, kind of squeezes them, squeezes them a little bit. Yes, you, you, you should, you should. When, when, when the onion is like this, you just like squeeze it together like this. Like almost like then, you're rolling a, a tortilla. Yeah. And use the other onions to hold it. You know. Yeah, what I'm doing is I'm stuffing it between the other onions to keep it from opening up. Exactly. I think that's it. The rest so of I, I still have. have I still have some stuffing. So I'm gonna use one green pepper. Well, the rest of the and onions I have are broke, so I don't think I can use them. If I did, I would just use them as a little bowl and put the rice on top. I don't think that would work. If they are broke, you can just use two and just squeeze oh. them together. Okay, let me try that. Yeah, make like a sandwich. Yeah. Okay. That works. So I'm gonna give you like a hint of how you, before we, we start cooking, I'm gonna just show you about the other vegetables in the future if you guys wanna use it. Okay. And I'm also gonna put these ones as well. So we have the onion, you have to, you can, uh, sorry, the pepper, take off the cap like this. Take off this. This is much easier. a little bit, don't fill it, because it's gonna come big. Then you just close it, and that's it. I just have one yellow pepper, so let me try. Americans are much more familiar with that technique because they do stuff peppers like that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, with, with that's about beef. the only way I like green peppers. Yeah, that's a zucchini. The, the problem is the zucchini have a, a little bit tough for stuffing. 
you have to use a special knife, which is this. You know, you can use the oyster knife as well. Oh, so you're like hollowing it out. That is cool. Yeah, but this is this is so big, so it's better to make it two pieces. Wow. So we're just gonna. Even for me, it's hard. Okay. What happened? <laughs> My onion just decided to run away. <laughs> it's like that's one of these. That's one of those. Don't try this at home because you can really cut yourself. <laughs> I saw one where they did that with the zucchini. And they put a hot dog in the center and they dip it in flour and deep fried it. Wow, that's really, really <laughs> an American way. <laughs> what if you uh, what if you cut the zucchini kind of down the middle and then scoop the seeds out and then put it back together? Would that work? But you'd have how would you hold it together? Well, you could put a toothpick yeah, through it or something. It's a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard to hold it together. That's why, uh, because it's tough. Oh, I'd stick a toothpick through it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody has his own way. The end, it has to work. Oh, I, I made some pomegranate juice and I forgot to drink it. Yeah, you can just put ice in it as well. So this was that pomegranate molasses. I put like a capful in this whole glass. And it I mean, it quite literally tastes like really good lemonade yeah it does mm. that means you still can put lemonade instead of molasses oh but this has like much better flavors yeah it has the sweetness the sweetness of pomegranate is different So you are stuffing a zucchini. I have one pepper in there. Technically, I have yeah. one more big onion, but I don't. I really don't think it works that good. All right, I do have this white. When you, you know what? When you when you try all these uh, vegetables, the dolma, like when you try the dolma with all its vegetables, your favorite will be the onion when it's cooked. I was wondering at the beginning of whether it was a white onion rather than a Spanish onion because we couldn't tell because it was peeled. Yeah, you can use any of them. It's not like, yeah, you can use all kind of onions. It's really like, a, like there are so many like types and ways to do it. Whatever you have in your home, whatever vegetable you have, you can use it. So this is a white one, but yeah, this it's it's much skinnier skin. I mean, much uh, skinnier layers. You see, the tomato has to be a little bit tough if you can, and then you hollow it out. Yeah. Now, how do you hold that together? You're or are you just making? I mean. Doesn't have to be perfect. What? You just you just put a little bit like this, and then that's it. Put back the tomato. And you tuck it into the corner of the pan someplace. Yeah, just put it like this. It's not gonna fold. The thing, uh, the good thing is that the the uh, dish will come and just protect everything from tearing up. And it's a very important step. Yeah, so I got another onion here. Yeah, still I still have stuffing. I don't want to waste it. So I need to have more, more veggies. <laughs> Oh, this is great. And so you just put, you put 
Do you cover this all with water or you just put a little layer on the bottom? No, you cover it all with water. Okay. And you don't need, need only to cook the rice. It has to be like really cooked. So. And when you flip the dolma, you will see a little bit of uh, the juices coming out. So it should not be dry when you when you cook it, when you finish cooking it. All right. And you know, if you don't find any, uh, let's see if we have eggplants. Eggplants is really good with dolma as well. Like my one of my favorites. Yeah. So yeah, this was a white onion and it had much thinner layers. So I think yeah. the secret is the thin layers. So it's just, it or just over. or just cook it a little bit and everything is gonna work thin and thick. So all right. Use all the onions that you have, no? And even, even if it's if it's cut, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I actually saw the ones that were broke. You can make just like a sandwich like this. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. I'm glad you told me about that because that made it. Oh, I got the new onion as well. All right. All right, all right. Let's have these two. Let's Only problem with this whole thing is you have to wait now for cooking it, right? Yeah. I want to eat it right now. Don't, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to ch chit chat until it's done. So. So now it's just you're basically cooking it just like you're cooking regular rice. Yeah. Yeah, but you keep it for long, longer than rice. Rice is like 15 minutes, but this one it takes like 45. And you know what I'm gonna do now? I have a fresh grape leaves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cut them from the garden and come back. I guess Suzanne's got grape leaves too. She could go out into the garden and get a couple. Oh, she she can, of course. She was showing her her garden earlier. But yeah. Somebody ate the grapes so she could still use the leaves. <laughs> Some animal was eating all her grapes. But I'm gonna have another glass of this pomegranate lemonade. I really like it. I'm just putting basically about a cap full of the liquid in there and then just fill in the glass with water. Well, we still have 45 minutes to get cooked. So you're gonna get hungry again. <laughs> yeah, it's like, but it's almost like a soda with the bubbles. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if we started filling up with water or not. No, I'm just uh, preparing these grape. Now you said with grape leaves, do you always have to um, steam them first? Or if they're thin enough? Well, most people they steam it first but i'm gonna just do try doing it in a fresh way because they're fresh they're not old i just cut them so i will try try them like this they're gonna be cooked this is just a leaf you know so is it all right if i add water to this to start cooking it mine yes add water until they are, it's 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 soaked with water. 
And I would think pour it right along the edge so it doesn't separate stuff, huh? Yeah. Try not to make a big gush of water. Wait, I didn't put the plate on it. So you have to. Yeah. Let me let me just show you. If you have any plate that is heavy, the heavier the better. It fits like perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Perfect fit. Yeah. Because karma loves you. <laughs> Just like. And I guess if your plate isn't very heavy, you could also put a, a weight on top, right? Yeah, or you can take like yes. a mug. You this can take is, like a coffee the, mug and fill it up with water or something like that and sit it on top of the plate. If you have like stones, put, uh -huh. these, there are some stones they use. Anything that does not break with the heat. All right, looks like the water is coming up now. Remember when we had steak in Niagara? Yeah. That was a nice day. So we have this left, we just put it here. Did anybody have any hard time finding the ingredients? Because everybody lives all over the world. Um, the only ingredients I didn't have was the pomegranate molasses and the seven spice. Um, but I also didn't find, I didn't find lamb very easy. And I thought that would, well, we would really need lamb for this. But even, even in Walmart and everywhere, lamb is everywhere actually. I'm gonna put this. And you know what, when you put this, try to squeeze it a little bit. So it pushes like it. down, yeah. Squeeze it so nothing comes out. I mean, this, the, the one that I had was very small, it has to be bigger than this actually. Yeah, mine just happened to fit like perfect in the pot. Yeah, because you're the best. <laughs> oh, it usually doesn't happen. Everybody um, makes fun of my pots because dinner plate. Use a dinner plate. Yeah. Right. Let me see if I have something else. Dinner plate. I've seen it where you put a metal bowl, but then it curves down, but it holds everything down better. Mm. Yeah, dinner plate's like eleven or twelve inches. So. Yeah. I have uh, other plates, but they're, they're bigger than the skeleton I have. Uh, yeah, I think this, this will work. So you fill it with water. All right, where's the lid? Here it is. So I guess this is going to take a while. So we're going to pause the recording and act like we're water? one of those fancy shows where, you know, you put it in the oven and then take the tur baked turkey out immediately, right? Can I, can I see your skillet? Can you open it? Mine? Can you see oh, it? Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, that's really good. So it's it's a very big pot, but it's only filled maybe one third. Yeah, yeah, it's better. And so 
And then you can, I don't know if you can see the water, the water is above the plate, just about this just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, normally when I make rice, I put water above the rice. Exactly. That's right. what you have to do. But here there is like vegetables. So vegetables also release some water. All right, I'm going to pause the recording and then we'll just chit chat and then come back to cook food. Yeah, before, before, be like you, magic. Pause, before okay. you pause, uh, put it on the high heat, medium high heat until it bo starts boiling and then bring it down. Okay, so, br so bring it in yeah. medium high until it starts boiling and then put it at the lowest setting and it's still boiling? Not lowest setting, the medium low. Okay. So it simmers. So basically yeah. bring it to a boil and then put it as, so it's just barely simmering, yeah? Exactly, and you keep the not barely keep... simmering, a little bit less than a half. Okay. Okay, and then do you keep a lid on it? Yeah, you have to keep the lid on it, yeah. Okay, so. got it. All right. Or... So we have elapsed about 45 minutes. And um, what do you call it? Mine has released a lot of moisture. So I'm going to have to pull some. It's got a lot yeah, of rice have... instead of the rice absorbing it all. I think it's because yeah. I put way too much meat in it. Way too much meat, even the veggies, the onion. Well, I already took the, the excess water. Or you could sort of tip it up and hold down the plate with a spoon, a wooden spoon or something and pour it out or. Right. Oh, if there is a little bit excess water, it's, it's good. It's okay. Because usually some people, they like it like mushy a little bit. But I think mine is really, really good now. So we can't see yours. You cannot see my video. Oh, we just see the platter. We don't see the. I know. I didn't open it. Oh, he hasn't opened still... it yet. Go for what it. I'm gonna do. I'm Secret. gonna bring this. I'm gonna prepare the way how they do it. Oh. I'm gonna show you. Is this where you flip the pot? You know, this is the dolma here. You guys see it? Yeah. I will yeah. never be able to do that. Okay. You have to do that. Uh, and then you make like this. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, and you flip it. You have but, to take, make sure you got all the water. You're going to get burned with boiling water. No, don't worry about me. You'll see. No, I'm talking about everybody else. If you're oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. if there's water, you're going to get burned. You have to use, yeah, you have to use this one. Put it like this. And this is very, very important. Do it fast and commit. Quick Are you flip. guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Yep. One, two, three, flip. Cool, nice. Wow. Then, go here like this. Like a bongo drum. <laughs> And then here we go. Ta da! Ta da! There it is. Ooh. Nice. 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 That looks good. That looks really good. Yeah. 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 Let me taste it and tell you if it's good or not. Mm -hmm. I'd I'm, be I'm not going to lie, huh? If it's not good, I will say not good. I would be tempted to drizzle a little uh, olive oil over the top. <laughs> okay, I will do it. I mean, <laughs> imagine you're eating it. Imagine you're eating it. <laughs> oh, you have to simulate it like this. Nom. But it's really hot. You have to wait until. Yeah. It's... 
I don't think I can flip mine. My pan is too, it's only a third full, but there's what mine looks like. Looks good. So. Where is it? It's not, it's. So. You don't think you can flip it? Oh, you have to flip it. I can't, the pan is only one third full. It's only. You don't have any, any big thing or something? I think if I do, it'll just all fall apart. It'll but flip, just flip it fast onto no, a platter. Uh, yes, you just like when you hold your hand with something like this, and then it's easy. It looks like it's going to fall, but it's not going to fall. It's easier than you expect. Just hold it good, and then just flip it. But your, your pan is, is big. That's the thing. The pan, it's too deep. It needed to be yeah. filled That's closer cool. to the top. If it was this big pan, but it was full mm. to the top, then okay. Guys, this is really melts in your mouth. It's really, really good. Mm. Oh man, this smells so good. Wow. This is better than I expected. Okay, let me tell you something, guys. This is my first time making dolma. What? No, kidding, I what? told you not to do that. I went, when I told him, pick a recipe that is simple and you've made regularly. That's the rule of the show. Oh, man, he tricked us. <laughs> Right. Because I knew that I would make it. He surprised himself. <laughs> I want to surprise myself. But but you did say you were a cook, so. Yeah. This is good. But another. Uh, <laughs> I cannot talk. It's so hot. <laughs> Just like. Because your mother always made it. Exactly. <laughs> like how your mother and John Plains. <laughs> but just like I'm now. really proud of myself. I really did it good. I expected that is not going to be that good. I did notice you. Did you pour a little bit on that bite of the pomegranate molasses? Did Did you? Yeah. I I poured. And some people, they like it really, say, some people, they do it really, really spicy. Like or, you, a, or you could have a little bowl and you could use it like dipping sauce, I think, maybe. Yes, some people, they use, they use uh, dipping sauce, like yogurt. If it's so spicy, some people, they, they ease it with yogurt. And, and you, you know could... the meat? When you eat the meat, it's like sour, and it cooks with the, from the sourness of the molasses. Mm. Now you said sometimes instead of the pomegranate, people use yogurt. Yeah. So. Yeah, because yogurt's but, a lot more available for us. Yeah. You know, um, in Iraq, there is a region called Kurdistan, if you heard about it. There is a region called Kurdistan. They are, it's in the north of Iraq. Yeah. So they do they do the yogurt uh, dolma. The curds, yeah. The curds, yeah. But this is where Wait, I'm from. When it turns into whey. Are you from the Kurdish area? Yeah, I'm from uh, Erbil, which is uh, the uh, the capital of Kurdistan. This is the largest population in the world that does not have its own country. Exactly, yeah. There are some Kurds, but I'm not Kurdish, actually. Yeah, we are like, uh, they call us Assyrian, but we live with the Kurdish people. Kurdistan is much more safe. Like, you will not find any violence of any kind. Yeah, I've heard good things about it. Yeah. All right, does anybody have any questions? And then we could show how horrible the rest of ours look compared. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just want to see how was yours. 
Yeah, it's on the screen. Well, right it's, now I'm slowly scooping them out. With, uh, I could, I did, I could, because the pan was only one third full. I, if I flipped it over, I knew it would just go everywhere. Because it would fall down. So I've been pan. just scooping yeah. them out. Believe me, if you flip it, nothing gonna happen. One by me. one. Looks good. Oh, this is good. Yeah. This one looks really good, man. Yeah, I'm surprised they all That's nice. Like only like two of them broke apart. Most of them held together. It's very interesting. Yeah, yeah, they will because of the cup, because of the dish. The dish held them down while the rice cooked in it. Yeah. So. Oh. And so the total uh -huh. cooking time is uh, once you bring it up to the simmer is forty five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think you. I you don't think do you, half an hour. I don't think you have to go crazy a little, little over. Like I can't get them to close up just properly. I think that's not so critical. Yeah, and the plate is holding it all together. It's not like. There's yeah, once it starts food. cooking, it holds it together. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, sometimes I would I would uh, recommend not to put a lot of water, and uh, once you see that it needs some water, just pour a little bit. But put yeah, like I, yeah, I think the rice will absorb the water even if it's not in the water because it's steaming inside of that pot. Yeah. So there is a water of the vegetables, water of the meat. And okay. if you add extra water, you should not add that much. Uh, because what I did, like I, I added more water than, I, than was uh, supposed to. And uh, I ended up taking off so many, so much. So look at the zucchini now. You can just cut it. Wow. But it's really good, guys. I'm excited. Really good and really hot. <laughs> All right. Any final questions, comments? Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you so Are much you for sharing it? your culture and food and trying to cook something new for you. So um, maybe we'll have you come back on with something, well, that you've made before. No. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for that, but I knew it's that right. I would make it. I knew the ingredients, so I said, let's, let me just do, do it together with you guys, you know? Yeah. Good so. job. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to show our cuisine to, to you guys. I especially like, I mean, how forgiving it is. You can use, I mean, really, I feel like the only thing you said really is necessary is the pomegranate molasses. But then you said you could even use yogurt to make it sour. So yeah, it's almost any kind of meat any kind of spices, any kind of vegetable you want to stuff. So some lots, people, wow. they use, uh, they add extra, you know, tamarind. Oh man, I got distracted. Yeah. Suzanne just flipped her pot. We should have put that on. I should have spotlighted you when you did that. She was nervous to show it. I like, I like tam tamarind. You can get tamarind sauce. In, uh, yeah, tamarind well, sauce. They usually put it like it's a typical ingredients but i thought like let's skip this i like because tamarind. you might not find it you find it in the oriental markets because uh, the thais use it yeah even even indian indian markets in indian they, markets they have, too use, yeah. yeah 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 all right now is the time we all sit down and eat and chat and share our cultures from all over the world Thank you so much again. All right. Yeah, this is awesome. Let's eat. Oh, wait. Um, I forgot. I haven't really used it on the cooking show, but I don't know if you know my the hashtag I came up with years ago for this was 
um, cooking for others is love. So, oh yeah, there you go. All right, it's cross cultural, cross boundaries. It removes every prejudice because guess what? We all get hungry. So, yeah, everyone eats. For others is love. Exactly. Yeah, and we all love good food. <laughs>